Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing this morning? How are you guys doing today? Hey, this is Gregory Wilds coming live to you from Houston, Texas with this inspirational morning talk. For first time listeners, I'm on at 8.45 a.m. Central Time, just to give you something to start with the day positive with. Um, so, so yes, it's a beautiful day. Our mornings are cooling down right now. Our mornings are coming into the 60s, I guess because of the hurricane. We're getting some little cooler weather than normal. But yes, it's a great day here. It's a great day. Hope it's a great day wherever you guys are. Yes, but today what I want to talk about quickly and get into it quickly today. I want to talk about the trials in our life, the trials in our lives. And what I mean, man, you don't go through life. You don't get to a certain age. You don't get to the age that you are now without experiencing some some trials, man. It's just a part of life, right? You're going to experience some times, Mr. Allen. Dwayne, good morning, good morning. So you're going to have experienced some trials in life. I know most of my listeners is around my age. It's a, a little older crowd. You know, you didn't get to that age without going through some trials. You've been through something. So let's talk about those trials and see. Right now, some people might be going through their trials right now. So let's talk about that and see. We can look at First Peter 1. Um, about three through seven. First Peter one of three through seven. Like Peter was writing this letter to the people in exile, all the Jews in exile that was scattered around them different nations, right? He was writing he wrote this letter to them, right? Uh, so I'm gonna start from three. He said, All praise to God, the heaven of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again, because God raised Jesus from the dead. Now we live with great expectation. And we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach, beyond the reach or, or change or decay. So he's saying this inheritance you got is beyond anyone reach to take it from you. It don't change or it don't decay, right? And through your faith... This is going to stick a pin right there and stress this. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive the salvation. But it's through our own faith, right? The protection we can receive is based on the amount of faith that we have, right? He says, through your faith. He writing this letter to these people, tell them. It's through their own faith, God is protecting um, you by his power until you receive his salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day. For all to see, right? So I really want to get into what I want to get into here right now. I just kind of had to give that little backdrop there. But remember, we can come back to that. But it's true, our own faith, God is protecting us. So if you got little faith, you get a little protection. If you get a lot of faith, you get more protection, right? So stick, remember that. Because that gonna, we can come back to it. So in 6, he said, So be truly glad, be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead be truly glad there's wonderful joy ahead even though you must endure many trials for a little while even though you must endure many trials for a little while right but he's saying be, be so be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead there's wonderful joy ahead, even though you um, endure many trials for a little while. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests as pure gold. As fire tests and pure gold through your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So he said, we're going to go through some trials. Well, we so be, be glad because there's wonderful joy ahead. We can go through them trials, but those trials is to test our faith. As fire tests and purifies gold. As fire tests and purifies gold. And he used this term gold just loosely. We can look into gold and see why he's using this term gold, right? As fire, uh, as it's being tested, as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on that on the day when Jesus was revealed to the whole world. So he says in the trials that we're going through is to test our faith. So you're going through some trials right now. He said, be glad there's this joy ahead, there's glorious days ahead, right? Because those trials is test our faith, man. 
when the time come and he released me to give my testimony, he's going to tell you all as much as I can tell you right now. A lot of these stuff I come out here and tell you on the day of faith and all of these things. When I hang up from you here, I got to go and live it. I got to go and practice what I preach. But one day, we gonna, when he tell me it's time, I'm going to go into all the details and give you a full, full um, thing. I got to practice a lot of these things that I tell you on a daily basis. He makes sure of that. Because he can say, if you can go out and tell these people about this and faith and all of that, I want to make sure I test you and you practicing what you preach. You just don't go in and saying stuff that you're not willing to do yourself. So I'm going to make sure I test you. So I'll go through a lot of these tests, but we we can we can talk about that whenever he, he he released me to talk about. But the trials you're going through, he said, I want to test your faith. I'm gonna test your faith. I gotta make sure it's genuine. I gotta make sure it's genuine. And use this term gold, like fire, um, test and purified gold. You know, gold for anybody who know anything about gold. The pure gold is 24 carats, right? The pure gold is 24 carats. Cool. So when you got an 18 carat gold, it means 75% gold and then the other um 25% is mixture, other metals. Most time they put copper or sometimes silver in this. That is to give it the hardness, right? That's give the hardness. You got 14 carat gold. All the mean is 14 that, that it mixed with more metals, right? And the more metals it mix with, it get the hardness, right? Because 24 carats is not as strong. You can find it. I'm gonna make no jewelry with just 24 carats because it's not as strong. It's pliable. It's not as strong. That's why they put the other metals in it. But the strength, that's what God's saying. I want the 24 carat. I want your heart, your feet to be of that 24 carat. Pure gold because that is pliable. It's soft. Then, the, then you got all the other metals in it. It's hard. It's stubborn. It's got its own way. He's saying, no, 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 no. I want to remove all of those impurities. Those are the metals. I want to remove them. So that, that trial you're going through is like the fire that is, te that is tested and purifying the gold. He want to remove all those other impurities. Because if you put the gold, like 18 carat, 14 carat, whatever, gold back through the heat, back through a certain temperature, it's going to, them metals is going to separate from it. Those metals are going to separate from it, and you got the gold, and then the other metals, if you put it, I don't know what temperature it needs to be at. The people who into that business would know that, right? It will separate. So that's when he puts us through those trials. He's trying to separate those different, all those stuff. Sometimes you go through some trials. You don't know yourself really until you face some trials in your life. You don't really know yourself. You don't know what you can do. You don't know what's in you. That is not good. You don't know what's in you. That is not good. And you got to dig deep. And then you realize who you really are through those trials. And that's what we're doing, right? That's what we're doing. I hear one guy, a pastor, said that something he, he was um, go through, he's lost his job, and, and a lot of trials start coming. It's like he was so angry, he go home, and he didn't know he had this anger in him. His poor kids and his wife, and he was just yelling and screaming and getting on on them. And he said, he said he was praying to God and said, God, I didn't know I had all this anger in me. Where does anger come from? He said, you didn't know it was there, but I know it was there. I know it was there. That's why I put you through these trials for you to discover and know what is there. You got to remove it and deal with this anger right now. Because I know it was there all the time. I know it was there. But you didn't know because your life was good. But when I put you under some pressure, now all those impurities can start separating. So he said, you got to deal with the anger, deal with all those impurities. I want the 24 carats. And now I'm going to take you what I want to take you because it's pure now, right? So, just in the trials you're going through, guys, understand. So be truly glad there's wonderful days ahead, right? So let me read this little thing here. The trying experience of today are preparing us for a glorious tomorrow, right? The trying experience of today is preparing for a glorious tomorrow. They are designed to test our faith, develop our faith, hone our faith, and increase our faith in our Father in heaven. The faith of each of his children is valuable to the Lord, more precious to him than, than much fine gold, which will one day perish, right? 
God that is gold that is purified is tested in the fire to remove all its impurities, blemishes, and imperfections. And in like manner, the faith of a Christian needs to be pure, unblemished, and perfect. And the trials of, of, of life are designed to purify our hearts. Increase our dependence upon the Lord Jesus. Depend, deepen our love for our Savior. Enrich our spiritual life. Strengthen our hope in his many precious promises. And increase our faith in the word of God. For the faith of his children is much more valuable to our Father in heaven than gold or silver. So guys, so those trials we're going through. You don't get to a certain age. We all going to go through some trials. But just know it's for a time. Stand strong. Hold on his word. Hold on his word. Hold on all his promises. Because he wants to make sure your faith is strong. Your faith is strong, right? And um, remember in, um, let's see, I write it down somewhere here. In Luke 22, 31 through 32. Luke 22, 31 through 32 is when Jesus, when Simon Peter was saying, God, I'm going to die for you no matter what, is when he was going to, um, on Jesus' last day. And Jesus, see, Simon was making all these promises. God, I will die with you and nobody can do this to you and all of that. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon. He was like, just imagine many people when the Bible said like this, Simon, Simon, you don't even know. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you. Some other translation said Satan has petitioned for you, right? That this is King James. That he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. So when Satan, this means he can go through some trials. He can go through some trials. But Jesus said, I pray for your, your faith fail not. And when they are, and when thou art converted, he said, when you get converted, when you come through the trial and your faith, and your faith stands strong, he said, go and strengthen your brethren. But he says, Satan has petition for you. Satan have a petition for you, asking God that he could sift you as wheat. Sift you as wheat means he gonna, he going to make, put you through some trials. Put you through the sift. Sift you as wheat. You know, wheat going through the little, the sift there, so that all the all the impurities gonna come out, and just the the, the 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 what is the real wheat is gonna pass through there, right? So those we saying, but you, I pray for your faith, not fail. God, that's what it's about. It's a test of faith. How much you going through the trials? How much you going to still hold on on God's word? Even though you're not seeing the outcome of this. How much you going to hold on on his promises? Knowing it's going to be okay. Even though you don't see in a way. Right? He said that's where he want us. When he puts us through them trials. A test of our faith. And I'm going to tell people this. If you anything got to do with you. you, you you're doing any kind of ministry. Where you got to preach and tell people about faith. I'm telling you, prepare to go through your own trials. It's like a teacher where you got to go to the college and get your certificate and get your degree. I don't want to make sure they prepare you when you go in and teach people. This is a prerequisite. He's not going to have you out there talking about faith and telling people about faith if he genuinely put it on your heart. And he didn't kick you through the fire to make sure your faith is strong. He not to make sure he take you through the fire. Make sure you qualify. So when you're going to talk to people about faith and, and, and holding on in his word, you going and talking with it with conviction and confidence because you've been through it. And that's why a lot of time people more gravitate to people's testimonies. Look at most of the people who are doing a doing the stuff is the testimonies is what people gravitate to their testimonies because they've been through it it's not they're just saying it they've been through it and they know this stuff work because they've been there and they use it right so it's, that's why a lot of people testimonies is what people gravitate to and make them popular and make them um and make them more more famous and people follow them is the testimonies because if you been through it, I want to make sure you being through it and, 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 and this stuff work. Right? I just don't want to hear you saying it. So so um so I'm saying the trials you're going through here is testing your feet. So I'm gonna read the scripture again. So be truly glad. This is first Peter. Um first Peter and read I can just read six and seven. We did three through seven, but I can just finish up with six and seven, right? 
So be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. So you're going through your trials for trials right now. You might be in a season of trials. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. True, your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus is revealed to the whole world. So ladies and gentlemen, go through your trials and know it's being, your faith is being tested. Your faith is being tested through those trials. And it's for a while. There's one thing we can hold on on. Because it's life is seasons, right? No seasons last long. And if you go through it with the right attitude, joy, and knowing that, as he said here, um, be, be truly glad. There's wonderful joy ahead. You go through the, uh, the season. Know the season of joy is coming, even though you're going through your trial right now, right? Pass the test and get to the other side and get to the joyous part and enjoy it. All right, we're going to leave that there, guys. Have a great, great Wednesday. We'll talk again on Friday. Okay, bye.